Quantum mechanics has a problem that even physicists still don't fully understand. It's called the measurement problem, where particles don't seem to decide what they are until humans observe them. The Copenhagen interpretation says there is no cause. Things just happen, but that doesn't sit right. Is there a deeper explanation? To recap, in the double slit experiment, we saw that an electron acts like a wave of many possibilities. Once we observe it, it behaves like a particle, a determined outcome. But the question remains, what happens to all the other versions or possibilities of that electron? Do they just vanish? In the 1970s, a Princeton grad student named Hio Everett proposed the many worlds theory to solve this dilemma. Instead of saying the wave function collapses and the other outcomes just disappear into thin air, Everett said all the possibilities of the electron are real. They all happen, but in many universes. What we see? There's just one version, one slice of the many worlds. Now that's logical. Instead of some magical collapse at the moment of observation, Everett's theory keeps causality intact. And here's where it gets interesting. If a single electron can exist in many versions across universes, then so can we. There might be other versions of you out there in different realities. And it doesn't stop there. In the many worlds interpretation, the past is fixed, but it's a fixed past for many worlds. Our observation just picks one history as our universe's story. The future, totally unknowable because it hasn't been chosen yet. It's branching into countless possibilities. Now listen to this. In the Quran, it says God erases what he wills and confirms what he wills. And with him is the mother book. Physics today confirms the Quran, but even more so, it confirms the method of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. They were the only ones who explained this verse using the concept of bada that destiny or future can change others mocked the idea but now quantum mechanics is on their side so what if your prayers your intentions your choices actually determine your future what if science is finally catching up to the spiritual truths we have had all along for more check out the atheism delusion book by ahmed al-hassan